Hello fellow story enthusiasts. Today we're going to go over uh, the Mortal Kombat 2021 movie and it's going to be spoiler free as best I can and then we're going to use that movie to talk about the importance of a wound or ghost and I will have a few spoilers in it but I'll tell you before that starts. First of all, let me talk about my review system. Uh, I review things on 1 out of 10 scale, but I split it up into two categories. So, you're going to have a 1 through 5 in art, and then a 1 through 5 in entertainment, just because I think you get the best of both worlds that way. So, for example, 2001 A Space Odyssey would probably get a 5 in art, but a, probably a 1 in entertainment. Very boring movie. No offense to people who love it. Uh, whereas Transformers probably gets about a 2 in art, but a 4 in entertainment. Before we start our review, just wanted to let you all know, in case you haven't seen my other videos, that uh, I am producing my own comic book with my company, Zine Comics. We are having our first comic book coming out on June 1st, Indiegogo. It's going to be called Forerunners. Please check it out. I'd love your support. Uh, now on to our review. First of all, let me go ahead and say that, you know, I played one or two Mortal Kombat games. They're good games. Just not, I'm not a very good at fighting games. But the story seems cool. I don't know much about the lore of the games. So, somebody that knows more about the lore may find this movie more appealing. But I will say that there are a lot of fan favorite characters in here. I know that much. And the whole thing is, though, is besides the main cast, those characters don't do very much. And it's kind of a disappointment. I think they throw too many people in at one time. If they would stick with maybe a good five or six, and then leave the rest for a different movie, and then just kind of concentrate on those five or six, might have been better and might have had, you would have seen more of your favorite characters. The graphics in it are great. Although at some moments, it looks like they lost their budget. Uh, you look at certain things and it just looks fantastic visually and I mean it's just gorgeous and then other moments it looks like they went and reshot it and they were pin and pinching their budget. Uh, the story is decent but to be honest uh, and you know some people may hate on this I like the story of the 90's Mortal Kombat better. I think it was a little bit more solid than this one. The backstory is fantastic the actual main story of it, a lot to be desired. Speaking of story, there's a couple of plot holes in the movie where the reason they do that is to just reintroduce characters. They say, well, we need to move them over here so that we can introduce this character, so let's just make that happen for some odd reason. There, Okay, there's one plot hole. I'm sorry, I've got to mention this one. I will put up a... It's going to be a small spoiler. It's not going to be too bad, but if you don't want to hear it, I want to put up a little warning. Mute it while the, while the little warning's up. Once the warning's gone, you can then tune back in, even though it's not going to be too big of a spoiler. So in one particular scene, the main characters are run, running away from Sub-Zero. People know Sub-Zero's in the movie. And he all he is doing is pelting them with snow. Not even ice shards, not ice shurikens, nothing like that. Not even hail, not even golf ball sized hail. Snow. Legit snow. And I'm like, you could have killed these people five minutes ago if you weren't messing around. But, yeah, and so I'm like, that, that to me seems like one of those major plot hole points. Uh, some scenes are unnecessary. Oh, now we're back. Uh, some scenes are unnecessary, and they seem like they could have been skipped over entirely. I'm not going to get into the specifics, just so I don't have to put up another spoiler warning. But there's a point where the good guys and bad guys meet. They talk for five minutes, then they leave. What Le legit happens? I'm like, you could have all took that whole scene out of the movie, spliced it together. No one would have known any difference. Uh, the dialogue is pretty good. 
Although I think sometimes that the actors who say that dialogue will run a little stiff. The fight scene, I mean, and what we're really here for is the fight scenes. Fight scenes are fantastic, although I'm a little sad that they seem to have left old school martial arts for mostly CGI fights. There's still some old school martial arts in there, but you it's mostly CGI. And it still looks great though. I mean, you're going to enjoy it. It's, you're going to have a really fun time. Give them Overall, I want to give the movie a 4 in inter entertainment just for the fight scenes, for the CGI effects that look great, and seeing the cool characters on screen. Because, I mean, they do get the characters, like the looks of them at least, pretty spot on. And then a 2 for the art, mostly due to only a decent story, a couple of plot holes, and nothing really surprises you in the movie. You can see pretty much everything coming a mile away. And that's fine. You know, we're, we're here for the fight scenes. We're here for fatality. Now we're going to transition into the importance of what is called a ghost or a wound in the story by using Mortal Kombat the movie. This is going to have some spoilers in it, so feel free to leave at this point, although I'd love for you to stay. I'll tell you what, go look at the movie, go watch the movie, then come back. You may be wondering what is a ghost, and a ghost is movie speak for something in your character's past that haunts him. Although it's sometimes called a wound, that's by K.M. Wyland. Um, so in the movie, Cole starts off as a underground failed fighter. And they don't explain why he sucks. Has he always just sucked at fighting, or was he recently good, and then he suck at fighting i would lean uh, towards the latter because another point in the movie uh cole says that i'm not the fighter i used to be so it seems like he was a pretty decent fighter at first from that uh, piece of dialogue but you're really unaware of why what happened i think that's where the ghosts could have come in and it would have been really beneficial for later on in the movie where Cole is struggling struggling to gain something called the Arcana. The Arcana is kind of like the Force or the special powers in the movie. The funny thing is they don't go into specifics on what it is. Kano makes a hilarious joke in the movie stating like, am, am I going to get with my Arcana the Razor Hat? Thought it was a straight up joke at first. However, Jax in the movie, his Arcana is gaining robotic arms. So, getting a razor hat may not be too far off. In the fight with Goro, the, the Cole is frightened for his family. And he needs to gain his arcana to win. And he eventually he gains the arcana, defeats Goro, and that's it. However, it seems like a lackluster victory for the reason that we didn't know what Cole had to overcome. What would have been beneficial was that if we knew why, I mean, we know why Cole, Cole's scared for his family. Anybody that's facing off a four-armed giant is going to be scared for his family. But we don't know why Cole goes all out, doesn't go all out on this monster. You know, why is, if, he's, if he was a great fighter, why doesn't he just let this inner fi great fight guy? Um, it seems like they took a scene out. In the movie that explains Cole's backstory. And then in the final version of the movie we're kind of left wondering what it is. So what would have been better for example is. And I'm just coming off, coming up with this off the top of my head. Let's say that many years ago when his daughter Emily was little. Uh, Cole was a great fighter. But he was also arrogant humiliated people during fights. And during one of his fights. He humiliated the wrong guy, and then that guy goes and threatens his daughter. And I'm not talking about a verbal threat. I'm talking about like a knife to the throat type of threat. He's about to kill her. However, he does save her at the last moment. But due to that inner fear, he holds on to that and never really puts his full efforts into a fight again. Through the misgivings of, well, if I didn't, if I hadn't beat that guy would never have threatened my daughter rather than if I wasn't arrogant 
he 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 would have never you know if I was if I was just a good fighter beat him up that was it he would never have threatened her with him in the first place so then later on in the Goro fight he could have achieved his arcana defeated Goro and defeated his ghost thank you all for tuning in please like and subscribe and we'll see you next week